Well, Lacey and I made it to the mighty Frank Church Wilderness, River of No Return. And uh, yeah, we're here for three days and two nights. We got a good forecast. It is mid-March, or towards the end of March, actually. March went by pretty quick. And uh, no plan today. We're going to walk pretty far in today and then uh, see which camp we like the most. And then on day two, go back to that camp, kind of what we did similar on our Missouri River Breaks trip. Really big track. Don't know what it is. Very mountain liney. It doesn't have its claw marks. Yes, it has to be a cat. Looks like we've got ourselves here a big cat kill. Either a deer or bighorn sheep or something. Looks like the cat ate very well. Oh, the hair pulled off. Pretty wild.
I'm sorry, but you didn't make it. Here's we made it to our first official campground. Really pretty and open, but we're gonna keep going forward. Going to the sign back there. This sign here, this is Horse Creek, I guess, and that's the Horse Creek Campground. Uh, we're going to keep going forward, but this might be a good spot to camp on uh, night number two. Look, there's a trail that follows up Horse Creek, and that's a very beautiful canyon as well. I think I need to spend more time exploring the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness. Looks like we got some sort of ranger patrol cabin or a place where someone lives and got grandfathered into the wilderness. Either way, I'm surprised that boat there makes it through these shallow rapids without hitting bottom. Must be some kind of special river boat. Pretty sweet spot to have a cabin. It is 150. Don't have a map and GPS that I usually carry around is broken. But I think we're moving about two and a half miles per hour, but I'm calculating two miles per hour. We've been out for about three hours, so we've probably gone around six miles. Realistically, probably more like eight.
We found this cool beach. Looks like rafters have used before. It's a really nice flat spot where that tent is. Show you our view of uh, upriver. Here's the view of our camp of upriver. And an eagle just landed in the tree above me. That's some mountain magic. Eagle off. There's like 30 eagle up here. He's very upset with the other two eagles. They're yelling at each other. And here's our view downriver from camp. This is going to be pretty relaxing. We just set up uh, at this nice sandy shore, this nice view. There's eagles everywhere. At least you're going to try and catch a fish. I'm going to relax. It's going to be a very nice evening. For this uh, trip, this is what we'll be eating. We got two pouches of salmon. Never tried that yet, so it's gonna be interesting. Got a uh, two beat up boxes of pastaroni. One is angel hair pasta, that's Parmesan cheese, and then a fettuccine Alfredo. Those two are really good. The uh, pastaroni's uh, really a uh, noodle up quick in hot water so you don't have to like boil them for too long we got a bag of some ramen and a bunch of goody snacks power bars uh, Paw Patrol gummies <laughs> Rice Krispies and in the bottom right we've got some gourmet stuff we got some block of cheese and good old summer sausage probably have that in a bit Sell some river otters. Quite a few of them. Well, it's about 
an hour and a half from sundown and Lacey's taking a power nap. No success in the fishing so far. I'm going for a little jaunt uh, westbound where we camps the direction we were heading all day to see what's just maybe a little bit further if we wouldn't have found that spot. I'm actually happy with the spot we ended up staying at because it's like flat section of sand mainly because this it well this area is really pretty these camps here but uh after I had a few ticks on my bag already I just don't feel like sitting in my chair relaxing and then seeing a tick crawl on me it's all this grass and these dead pine needles I love being in these dead pine needles everywhere on the ground so uh it feels safer in the sand, that's for sure. Much safer. See if I do is not dying on camera. Don't get my boots wet, whoa! There we go. I lived. I think I'm gonna start meandering back. The views are better at our camp too. I really would like, it's almost like Spendo. We could put one vehicle in like Riggins, Idaho, or the road, Forest Service road that goes off, comes out of Riggins, and start over here in the North Fork. Just hike through in this early season like this, because uh, the rafters, I guess, really fill this place up in the warmer months. So I think mid March would be, mid March, April would be perfect. I haven't seen too many people. We're the only ones backpacking right now. Seen a few rafters. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna make my way back to camp. So that's the excitement of our camp. A beaver is now crossing. Well, we are getting packed up and we made the decision to actually walk another two to three hours further in instead of going back to uh, Horse Creek Campground. Uh, it's Saturday, so um, kind of worried if we'd head back there, if there would be a few people camping there. We kind of like the solitude, so we're actually just going to walk further in, uh, see what we could find, and then Sunday morning just get up earlier and have a very long walk out. Uh, but yeah, hopefully find a, another cool spot like this further in with just as much solitude. Making our way back up to the trail from camp. Late start, it's noon. Only gonna walk a few hours though anyways. Got to relax quite a bit this morning. It's pretty warm today. blue skies and it is beautiful. We're gonna hike through that camp I passed through last night when I was day tripping. Lacey and I have just passed the point I made it to yesterday, that little camp. Uh, let's see what else there is to offer beyond that point.
Got signage, but no mileage. I think we're gonna stay along the river on the Dwyer Smith Trail. So there's a lot of camping spots in that area with some really good views. So we're gonna keep pushing forward. If we really can't find anything good, we might come back here. Because we had some good views of the surrounding mountains and canyons. Absolutely beautiful place full of history. Well, we liked the area so much, we ended up turning around and coming back. So we're probably gonna camp under this shade of this uh, Ponderosa here. And we're going to have a pretty good view. If the sunset is good, we should get some good glow off the canyon walls this way. This is looking back to where we came from and be the view from our tent. I think a pretty big area to camp in here. Tons of good spots and fire pits to choose from. So it's definitely gonna make us a really relaxing and fun evening because it's like choosing between a five-star destination and another five-star destination. All in the, within the same area. Good views all around. I'm on the Eakin Ridge Trail and it reminds me a lot of hiking in the Smokies in the early spring. in his valley from his pride rock.
Here it is our last night on the Salmon River. Uh, what did you least expect about this place? Um, I just thought the fishing might be a little bit better, but I didn't get any from this trip. Did so. you get any nibbles? No, I don't think so. Alright, so what was your favorite little wildlife encounter of the trip? Um, probably the sheep. <laughs> At the beginning, all yeah. those sheep liked you. Alright, let's play a game. Um, how far in do you think we are right now? Um, gosh, I don't really know. Um, maybe like 12 or 13 miles, I'd say. I think I'm gonna say 11. We'll see, we'll put the actual mileage down below and see who's right. Good morning, we've made it to day number three. We are packing up and about to leave. Probably won't film much on the way out, but who knows, that could change. Uh, amazing place, very scenic, uh, tons of little critters. Uh, kind of disappointed with the sunsets and the night skies. Uh, got kind of cloudy each night, so couldn't get a good look at the night sky. And when you're in these deep canyons, it's kind of hard to see decent sunsets too. But other than that, it's been spectacular. Yesterday, we didn't see anyone. Uh, the day before, we only really saw rafters. Not too many either. So, really spectacular place. And just think we'd go like almost hike another 80, 90 miles uh, further west before we hit another road. It's just really cool. No better way to wake up than uh, an ice cold stream crossing after you've dried out your boots and socks. This guy's blocking our trail. You shall not pass. <laughs> Springs awoken here. There's like a million butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> 